these are some basic electrical engineering formulas number 1 ohms law voltage v is equal to current i into resistance r v is equal to i into r where v is the voltage i is the current and r is the resistance we can rewrite this as i is equal to v by r or r is equal to v by i next is power power is represented by p it is equal to voltage into current p is equal to v into i now we know that v is equal to here we can see v is equal to i into r so we can replace this v with i into r then we get power is equal to i square r we can rewrite this as power is equal to v square by r here we can replace this i i is equal to v by r so if we put i is equal to v by r then we get this formula power is equal to voltage square upon resistance next is energy energy is represented by capital e and it is equal to power into time e is equal to p into t next is series circuits for series circuits total resistance r total is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 up to so on when resistances are connected in series we add them then next is total voltage v total it is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 up to so on so when voltages are connected in series that time they get added total current i total so when the circuit is series circuit that time the current in series circuit is equal that is i1 is equal to i2 is equal to up to so on the current in series circuit is same next is parallel circuit total conductance conductance is represented by capital g so g total is equal to g1 plus g2 plus g3 up to so on so in parallel circuit we simply add the conductance then total resistance is equal to 1 upon 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 up to so on so this is for parallel circuit total voltage v total is equal to v1 is equal to v2 is equal to v3 so remember that in parallel circuit voltage is equal total current i total is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus up to so on next is capacitance capacitance is represented by capital c and it is equal to charge q upon voltage v or simply we can write this as c is equal to q by v where c is the capacitance q is the charge and v is the voltage there is one more formula for capacitance capacitance c is equal to epsilon into a by d where epsilon is the permittivity of the material epsilon is the permittivity of the material a is the area of overlap of the plate and d is the distance between them so there will be two plates so the distance between those two plate is small d so 
C is equal to epsilon into A by D. Then next is inductance. Induced voltage. It is represented by capital V and it is equal to L into di by dt where this L is the inductance in Henry and this di by dt represents rate of change of current. Next is inductance. So inductance is represented by capital L and it is equal to n square into mu into a divided by L where n is the number of turns, mu is the permeability of the core material, A is the cross-sectional area and L is the length of the coil. Again, this n is the number of turns, mu is the permeability, A is the cross-sectional area and this L is the length of the coil. Then next is frequency and period. So frequency formula, frequency is represented by small f and its unit is hertz. It is equal to 1 upon time period. Time period is represented by capital T and its unit is second. So f is equal to 1 upon t or simply t is equal to 1 upon f. So these are some basic electrical engineering formulas 